we recognize our representation by the registrar uh, administration, Dr. Muindi, who is also here in his own personal capacity. Our registrar, research, innovation, and outreach, Professor Onyera, who is here. The directors who are here, uh, I see Professor Thoroa here, and, and the others. I recognize uh, Professor Agne, uh, Mbunyi, the Registrar Corporate Affairs in the Vice Chancellor's Office. All protocols observed. I, I recognize our guests who are here, VC, from many, many universities in the world. I also recognize our keynote speaker from the, the University of Nairobi. I recognize very many of you. Allow me to, Mr. VC, to report to you that this workshop is attended by represent, representatives from more than 16 universities in the world, from more than seven different countries, and with other organizations that are not universities, who are more than five. This is a very, very important function, and for, for that, I refer members to the press release, which is given in your folders for more details on the energizing scientific endeavor through science gateways and e-infrastructure in Africa. This workshop, because of its seriousness, VC, you appointed a committee to prepare for it, led by the DVC Rio and uh, guided by your office through the Office of the Corporate, uh, corporate, of corporate Affairs with the able leadership of the registrar herself. Without further ado, if you allow me, I will invite uh, Professor Taylor here, who is a reader at University of Brunel, to make a few comments on this important area, just briefly. Thank you very much. Um, first of all and formally, I'd like to thank uh, the DVCs and the VIPs for um, agreeing to come and open the conference. We know your time is very precious and it's very appreciated that you could be here. Um, to the rest of our guests, welcome. Um, this is the eighth workshop in our project that started just under two years ago. Um, and the one thing that has defined this project so far is the series of exciting collaborations that have developed and continue to develop. So may I wish you an interesting day, new friends, and new opportunities and collaborations. Thank you. Thank you. Very well. At this juncture, VC, I would like to invite the Deputy Vice Chancellor, Research, Innovation, and Outreach, and whose guidance and leadership this workshop was prepared, Professor Graveni. Is this working? My is not working. Okay. Thank you. Uh, the Vice Chancellor, uh, Kenyatta University, uh, the keynote speaker for today, our distinguished guests who have come from afar to join us today, uh, and other distinguished participants. Let me join by welcoming you very warmly to Kenyatta University. Uh, I believe that you are going to take pleasant experiences back and you would want to come back uh, to Kenyatta University for another workshop. My pleasant duty is basically to invite the Vice Chancellor to address you, but usually before I do that, I would seize the opportunity to make one or two remarks. One is that there are a number of science gateways all over the world now. That is a reality, and they are very they are useful resources to researchers worldwide. The only issue among gateways is what makes them 
successful than other ones. And I believe that this is some of the things you are going to grapple with uh, when you discuss in this workshop. <laughs> some, some of them are funded as research organizations. They do not focus or they do not have the funds for constructing e infrastructures. And that's a, that's, a, that's a truth. Some of them do not involve the community of users very thoroughly, so that the usability of these uh, gateways and the infrastructures developed are not real. And I believe that, uh, like I said, these are some of the points you probably would, uh, in your program, uh, uh, grapple with. The second comment I want to make before I invite the Vice Chancellor to come and talk to you is that the focus of this particular workshop is on health delivery. And we are very pleased about that. You are probably aware that uh, Kenyatta University has a young medical school. We have just constructed a teaching, research, and referral hospital, the first uh, public university to do so in this, in this country and in this part of the world. And we will be very pleased uh, as researchers in this uh, teaching hospital and even as uh, clinicians to be able to use this gateway uh, for uh, data collection, using them for our researches, and so on. So this particular workshop, therefore, has a very special significance for Kenyatta University because it, the deliberations you are going to have would be very useful to us. Uh, without further ado, I would therefore want to call on the Deputy Vice Chancellor uh, academic who is representing the Vice Chancellor, whom I understand is busy. Uh, please come over. Um, uh, Professor uh, Simon Taylor, Science Direct Project uh, Coordinator from Brunel University in the UK. Professor Roberto Abera, a project leader, University of Catania, Italy, and Dr. John Cagnaru from UK, invited uh, speakers and members of the university management who are here present with us, uh, the deans of schools, uh, chairman of departments present, members of uh, the local organizing committee, uh, distinguished guests. Uh, Kenyatta University staff and students, uh, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Uh, let me first of all uh, pass the apology of our Vice Chancellor, uh, who was not able to join us um, this morning uh, because of uh, uh, some duties in the office. But uh, he was aware that this was going on and he has uh, asked me to come and represent him and also share with you some of his thoughts on this uh, uh, meeting. So ladies and gentlemen, allow me to, to read the remarks from the Vice Chancellor. It gives me great pleasure to welcome you all to Kenyatta University. I'm delighted to preside over the opening of this important workshop on energizing scientific endeavor through Science Gateways and E-Infrastructure in Africa project with a special focus on public health. I am aware that the uh, Science Gateways project is a European Union funded project under the Horizon 2020 uh, grant. This workshop has an objective of bringing together participants to discuss debate and view uh, demonstrations of 
e-infrastructures for building open science health uh, portals that can help prevent accidents and diseases, prolong life, and promote health through organized efforts and informed choices by society. Public and private organizations, communities, and single individuals. Ladies and gentlemen, Kenyatta University is fortunate to host this international workshop, which has attracted players drawn from the health sector, who include one, education, health, and ICT ministries, two, healthcare practice and research, and three, transport and security, four, uh, computer science and engineering, and five, higher and tertiary education institutions, and lastly, e-infrastructure providers and operators, including the Kenya National Research and Educational Network. The multidisciplinary nature of the workshop with participants drawn from academia and industry is a clear demonstration of the importance attached to health as a prerequisite for development. Specifically, may I point out that information technology plays a very important role as a platform for healthcare provision. As we all know, information technology has become a buzzword in the modern world. The ability of technology to solve real uh, world problems, including provision of healthcare, cannot be overemphasized. In our case as a university and as a, a nation, how well we integrate IT into healthcare provisions will determine the success of our responses to the diseases afflicting our people. And ladies and gentlemen, this workshop will build upon past uh, work carried out during the e Research Summer uh, Hackfest and showcased at a recent science uh, um, gateway event held in Dar es Salaam. The key aims were creating awareness of open science gateways and promoting the exploitation of in infrastructures to build solutions and services that can tackle societal challenges through a multidisciplinary approach. For this reason, the workshop will take both an applied research and technology angle and a software and service development angle. From the terms Science Gateway, e-infrastructure, and open science, participants will be expected to showcase how healthcare becomes global and thus can be tackled in the networked society through open science. Further, the findings of the workshop can be shared across the global arena over the information highway, superhighway. I've also observed that some of the today's presentations will focus on research, productivity, infrastructures, open science under the confines of ICT and health. These are topics that are very relevant to any academic institution in serious pursuit of practical knowledge and its applications to tackling healthcare challenges. I am sure that the discussions from these topics will not only go a long way in finding solutions, but will strengthen collaborations from the different stakeholders. Allow me at this juncture to thank Professor Robert Barbera, Dr. Simon Taylor, and Dr. John Kanyaru for choosing to bring this workshop to Kenyatta University. Kenyatta University greatly supports this kind of uh, initiative, and we look forward to discuss future collaborations, particularly uh, with respect to forthcoming Horizon 2020 calls. With those remarks, it is now my pleasure to declare the seventh workshop on the EU-funded science gateways and e-infrastructures in Africa project officially open. Thank you. Uh, 
thank you very much for the speech for, from the Vice Chancellor. Um, the Vice Chancellor's committee on working on this workshop consisted of representatives from three schools, the School of Engineering and Technology, the School of Medicine, and the School of Public Health. For, I therefore wish to recognize the presence of Professor Okelo Agina, the Dean School of Medicine, who has just arrived, um, and management, Professor Kabiru had given me uh, his assurance that he'll be here after a function he was holding till uh, morning, till 11 o'clock. Uh, thank you very much.